Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about subordinating conjunctions. Let's get started. Conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases, clauses, or sentences together. Have a look at the example over here. Susan is an amazing wife and a wonderful mom. Now the word end in this sentence is a conjunction and it's used to link two sentences together. Susan is an amazing wife, a wonderful mom. Now there are many types of conjunctions and among them are subordinating conjunctions. Now subordinating conjunctions link two clauses, a main independent one and a subordinate dependent one. Have a look at the example over here. Although Emma wanted to go together with them, she declined the invitation. Note that she declined the invitation is the independent clause, the main one. And Emma wanted to go together with them is the dependent clause, subordinate clause. These two sentences are linked together with the subordinating conjunction although. Now the most commonly used subordinating conjunctions are although, as, because, if, since, though, unless, while, whereas, etc. Note, subordinating conjunctions perform two functions in a sentence. They state the importance of the independent clause and provide a transition between two ideas within a sentence. Have a look at the example over here. Once she stopped caring about strangers' opinion, Liz became happier. Note that Liz became happier is the main clause, and she stopped caring about strangers' opinions is a subordinating clause. Now, if the subordinate clause follows the main one, we do not usually use a comma, as in the example over here. My mom cries, main clause, whenever she watches a romantic comedy, subordinate clause. Note that a comma is not used in this sentence because the subordinate clause follows the main one, my mom cries. Now, if the subordinate clause precedes the main one, Use a comma to separate the clauses. Have a look at the example over here. After he had completed his studies, George decided to travel for a year. Main clause, subordinate clause. Now in this sentence, a comma is used because the subordinate clause precedes the main clause. And now let's review and practice a bit. Remember, the subordinating conjunctions link two clauses, a main independent one and a subordinate or dependent one. Now read the following sentences and underline the correct ones. Whenever, since, you asked me, yes, I did sign up for the class. Since. If, unless, you are happy with your own self, you'll be happy whenever, wherever you go. If, wherever. Also remember that if the subordinate clause follows the main one, we do not usually use a comma. And if the subordinate clause precedes the main one, Make sure to use a comma to separate the clause. Now read the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate punctuation. After he called her, Susan had a smile on her face for the rest of the day. Comma. Although I adore Mike, he isn't the most polite person on earth. Coma. Billy gets extremely impatient whenever his mom's cooking breakfast. 
No coma. Here is a short story using subordinating conjunctions. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Whenever my mom doesn't let my little brother eat candies before dinner, he throws a tantrum. That sounds awful. Yeah, we don't know what to do about it. Even though we try to be calm and explain that you can have some candy after eating properly, he becomes all whiny. Maybe he doesn't like something particular. I remember that I hated broccoli when I was a kid, and yet I was always forced to eat it. Hmm, you have a good point. And now, time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the correct conjunctions. A. My brother doesn't like cooking if because he hates cleaning up afterwards. B. I know that Carol won't go outside with us if while she has a morning shift day. C. Until now that we are grown ups, we should be in charge of our decisions. D. As long as, even though you continue avoiding your fears, you can't live a better life. E. Bob doesn't go for a run and unless it's sunny outside. F. Even though because I was tired, I went to the party. G. Linda always goes to thrift shops rather than because she can't afford brand new clothes. H. I wanted to talk to Mr. Johns, which whose support was always important to me. I. Once, while Kate graduates from high school, she wants to travel around the world. J. That, as soon as the dog hears the doorbell, it runs towards the door. And now, let's check your answers. My brother doesn't like cooking because he hates cleaning up afterwards. I know that Carol won't go out with us if she has a morning ship day. Now that we are grown-ups, we should be in charge of our decisions. As long as you continue avoiding your fears, you can't live a better life. Bob doesn't go for a run unless it's sunny outside. Even though I was tired, I went to the party. Linda always goes to thrift shops because she can't afford brand new clothes. I wanted to talk to Mr. Johns, whose support was always important to me. Once Kate graduates from high school, she wants to travel around the world. As soon as the dog hears the doorbell, it runs towards the door. Thank you for watching this tutorial.